Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create an actual 3D cube in Adobe XD. So I was just wondering if we can create a real 3D cube in Adobe XD using the 3D transform feature newly released by them. And after a lot of experimentation, as you can see here, I ended up creating a natural 3D cube on Adobe XD. So let me just show that to you first. So if you can see here, this is just a normal square to look at. But once I turn on the 3D transform and start rotating it, you can notice that it just behaves like a real 3D cube. So however, I rotate it it just behaves like a cube so in the further part of the video i'm going to show you how you can create this by yourself and then i'll also be talking through some flaws that are there in 3d transform as of now in adobe xd so before we get started let me just explain you with the simple 3d illustration how we're going to build this layer by layer so as we all know the cube has six sides so we're going to divide this into six layers here so this one that you see here this is going to be the front and we'll be using these exact names to name our layers to make it easy to understand and then the thing you see here will be the right layer and the back side that you see here that is going to be back layer and this one is going to be left and then we'll create the top layer and then we'll create the bottom layer so those are the six layers that we're going to create and arrange them to form an actual 3d cube so here we have a fresh artboard the first thing i'm going to do is create a square of 400 by 400 dimensions and i'll fill it up with a particular color maybe something like a blue here so before i continue using this layer i would like to create this as a component uh, in the further part of the video you'll be getting to know why i'm doing this so i'll just right click on this and make this as a component i'll place this parent component outside and make an instance out of it and place this on the center here so the first thing that we're going to create was the front layer so i'll just rename this as front so we are good here i'll just duplicate this and this is going to be our right layer which is the right side of the cube so the right side of the cube has to be rotated in a y-axis of 90 degrees so for that first thing i'll just turn on this 3d transforms here and at the y-axis i'll give the angle as 90 so as soon as i make that as 90 degrees it just turns into a line here because in 3d uh, y-axis it's just a plane here and the next thing i'm going to do is select the front layer and align it towards the right because it's the right side of the cube and i'll just duplicate the right layer rename it as left and i'll do the same thing just click on the front layer also and align it towards the left so i'll just use the align left option here and we basically have created three sides of the cube here so if i select all of these and group it into one and i try to rotate it in 3d space here you can see the left and the right side look looks good but the front layer that we created is in the between and that is because we need to alter the z axis uh, so that we get the front layer towards us so let me just take this back to zero here and what we're going to do is open up this group this is a 400 by 400 dimension cube so 400 by 2 is what we're going to bring towards us so that is 200 which i'll give it in the z axis here and that brings the front layer towards us by 200 pixels and now if i try to rotate this group here you can see we have the three sides of the cube at the back we don't have anything because we didn't create a back layer so far it's good so let's just align it towards back side here which is just 180 degrees and we'll create the back layer for which i'll just duplicate the front layer here rename this as back and we just need to alter the z axis of this one so currently it's at 200 which is actually towards us we need to take it away from us zero brings it to the center and we need to take it away from us even by 200 pixels so that will be minus 200 there we go i select on the group again and if i try to rotate it you just have created four sides of the cube which works pretty smooth and cool here so far so good uh, we have done creating the front the back the left and the right we are left with creating the top and the bottom so i'll just keep this at 180 degrees here and i'll just hide the back layer as of now so that we can create the top layer so what i'll do is i'll duplicate the front layer here and rename it as top so i'll bring it to the center first so z axis at zero and we got a rotate this at x axis the right and the left we basically rotated it at y axis but the top we need to rotate it at x axis so i'll make this as 90 here all you gotta do is just position it towards the top here so i'll just use the arrow keys and i'll move it towards the top and just see that you position it exactly touching so as you can see the gap here it's zero so that is what you gotta achieve here and we'll do the same thing just duplicate this one rename this as bottom and again use the arrow keys to bring it towards the bottom you see that this uh, gap between these two is zero and that's it we have basically have created all the sides so i'll turn back on the back layer here click on the group make the axis to the reset position and once i try to rotate this at any angle you can see you just have created a perfect 3d cube in adobe xd and now let's try to add some auto animate and see how this works so i'll just bring this back to zero here 
And what we're gonna do is just duplicate this one. And maybe in this one, I'll try to make this as minus 45 and this one also at minus 45. And then I'll just duplicate this again and maybe make this minus 90 and duplicate this once again and make this also minus 90. You can use these for precise calculations or you can just do it manually. You can rotate it using these options here. Let's try to do an auto animate on this and see how it works. So I'll click on this. I'll go to prototype tab here. On click, I'll just do an auto animate to this one. Maybe I'll keep it two seconds so that we can see the animation properly. And I'll use the same steps for all these here. I'll just link up this one and link this up finally back to this one. So I'll just run this as a preview and see how it works. So here we have the preview on my first click. As you can see, it rotates to the minus 45 that we set on the second click. It just rotates again. And here we have the final position and back to the initial position. So as you can see, the rotations in 3D transform works pretty good, but there's a flaw here that is it works smooth only if you set it to a particular color here. But if you give different colors for different sides, it starts to behave quite buggy. So let me just show you how it behaves here. So if I try to select the back layer here and try to give it a totally different color. So maybe if I choose something like a yellow here, and if I try to rotate this, you'll notice that the yellow is completely gone missing and this is what even happens in the animation if I try to animate it. So I'm not pretty sure if that is a mistake that I've done in my experiment or maybe we can fix it using Z index but based on my uh, experimentation that was not working out at all. But anyways let's go ahead and try to add some background image to it and make it look cool. So I went to Unsplash and I got this pretty cool horror image. So I just have to drag this onto the component that we made and that will fall on to all these layers here all the sides here and that is why I told you to create this as a component and now if you try to rotate this this is going to look really cool but as I told you there's a flaw in the back side of the 3d cube that is why you get to see this weird behavior but still it looked cool to me so let's see how the preview of this behaves I'll use the same animation here I'll just click on preview so here we have the preview ready and on the first click you can see how it rotates it looks cool and as you can see, backside of cube is missing. And I don't know what kind of a flaw is that, but overall it basically functions as a real 3D cube. And that is really fun. I hope you found this experiment interesting. And do let me know in the comments below if you would like me to try more such 3D experiments on Adobe XD. And also I'll make sure to include this XD file in the description below so that you can download it and use it for your reference. A quick note here, thanks for all the love and support that you've shown us on YouTube. And we have just recently started our Instagram page. And as you can see here, we are posting some really interesting and informative design bites. So make sure that you follow us there so that you don't miss out these content. And as always, thanks for watching.